I have once again donned the troll hat, my bowler cap. Um, this is my second video on trolling, and my idea here is that trolling is a spectrum. So you should not treat all trolls the same, because it, there's a spectrum between not that bad to really bad. And to make sense of that spectrum, I've created the idea of tr zones. So green zone spectrum is usually just being spot allergy. So it, I do green zone trolling all the time. And um, a typical type of green zone trolling would be like going to conservative Facebook pages to talk about how much you love President Obama, or going to a Democrat page and talking about how much you can't wait to vote for Rick Santorum and how you love Rick Santorum. So basically just going to Facebook groups to disagree with them or to express a different opinion than the one that Facebook page exposes, exposes. So that's some green zone level trolling. You're being smart alecky, but it's not that big a deal. Yellow zoning is when it gets a bit bad, but not illegal yet. So yellow zoning would be like leaving mean comments or um, starting to f get people to flame war each other. So it, this is when it gets a bit disruptive. So in yellow zone, you you try to get people to flame war so bad that they end up leaving that face that internet space. So um, here's an example. Libertarians, as a movement, disagree a whole lot when it comes to both immigration and abortion, with the liberal libertarians being totally for full immigration and abortion, and very conservative libertarians being totally against those things. So if you keep bringing those up all the time in libertarian groups, they'll argue with each other, and that might cause them to start splitting up. Also, there's a lot of racist libertarians, so if you just start saying racist stuff on libertarian pages, like, 80% of them will disagree, but you'll get like 10-20% who are like saying ra ra um, racialist stuff, and that could cause issues. So, yellow is disruptive activities in terms of trolling, and yellow is just mean comments. And I should say before I continue that one of the main things that count for something to catch trolling, it has to be done for amusement, mainly. That Amusement has to be one of the main intentions. And you're basically just being kind of rude for for fun. But the thing is, is green zoning is not that bad. Yellow zoning is kind of bad. It's only when you get into red and deep red that it gets bad. At red is when it starts to get a little illegal. At red, it, it's more like your your mean comments are actually cyberbullying and illegal in some states. And at red, you're you're doing thing you're your disruptive activities are a bit more effective, I think. So a, a red trolling type activity is to abuse reporting systems on internet spaces. So a red level troll, red zone trolling would be like uh, false DMCAing people you don't like just to see if you can get their YouTube pages taken down. Or going to groups that you're trying to target and like reporting everything, like abusing the report button. Like, for instance, you can report comments for nudity that have no nudity in it. Or you can have it to where a woman has like a biscotti strap tank top, and you can just report it for nudity every day. That's some red zone level trolling, and it can, it's actually dangerous, it's surprisingly effective at causing YouTube channels to disappear and Facebook groups to shut down, or at the very least to cause either of those things to shut down temporarily as the website in question is investigating this massive report spamming. Also this is where sock puppets come into handy, and also, by the way as I mentioned earlier, if you're using sock puppets, that's a bad sign that you've gone too far. If you have any sock puppets at all, you're probably you're probably going too far. You're out of the green zone and you're doing bad things. But yeah, if you have like 20 sock puppets, so you have like over 20 accounts constantly reporting, report spamming people, and it works on sites other than Facebook and YouTube too because they also have reporting systems. So yeah, another uh, red zone type thing is like. Getting um, doxing people, like posting their address and phone number on the internet, and like sending them pizzas, and like ordering them like 20 pizzas, and then they have to pay for all the pizzas. That's pretty bad. That's red zone. 
deep red zone is the if you do deep red zone that's where even I personally think you should go to jail because deep red zone is just the, it is the the butthole of trolling it's the the type of trolling that makes everyone who calls who does any kind of trolling bad deep red zone hurts green zone people because green zone people now get associated with red zone people deep red zone people and deep red zone people are jerks so deep red zone trolling would be like swatting. That's where if someone's given a live stream, so they're being watched by like tens of thousands of people live as they're playing a the game, you like call them up the local police department and say that the person, the streamer has like guns and has been shooting out their windows at people and then like SWAT teams show up thinking that you're a live shooter and then they, there's a chance that you might get killed in the process by the cops who think that you're armed and dangerous just so that you can watch them get arrested by SWAT team over the live stream for your own uh, sick amusement that's pretty messed up I think also deep red zoning is hacking so specifically so you can shut down people you d just because you disagree with them or you don't like them or just to see if you can some people just you know hack shit just, they just hack targets to bring them down just so they can see if they can so yeah, I'm not a big fan of that I think the only exception would be like ISIS. Go ahead and destroy ISIS. I don't care. Or really dangerous cults that have been like abused of do, uh, accused of doing bad things. Like FLDS has websites. Go ahead and take down FLDS. Those people are bad. That's a bad, dangerous cult. FLDS is the fundamentalist Mormons. Very really dangerous cult. But generally, it's very, very bad, and you are a, a jerk if you hack people's stuff and take it down. Also, a deep red zoning is when rude comments go into um, rape and death threats. If you're doing rape and death threats, that's in the, the deep red zone. Deep red. That's very bad. So pretty much everything in the deep red zone is illegal. Like, most of the things in the red zone are illegal. But yellow and green are not illegal. Maybe some yellow kind of dips into red a bit too much to the point of being cyberbullying. But yes, that's why I say go ahead and do green and maybe a little yellow, but don't ever do the other stuff. That's too bad. Except as I said earlier, go you can go ahead and hack and mess with ISIS's websites. I don't care. Just you can go all hardcore hacktivists against them because they're bad bad people. Who ironically think they're good people. Which is why you should I, uh, that's a d topic for another video. Anyway, there's definitely more that can be said. This could be a whole documentary, but that's the basic framework. The zones. Green zone, the yellow zone, fine-ish. Uh, other zones, I do not recommend. That's all fine.